What's up, people? So, I'm doing some more Dragon Ball Fighters vibes. Usually, when you see me do Dragon Ball Fighters vibes, though, you'll see me playing against my practice partner, DB Floyd. Now, he's more of someone who I, I guess, coach, kind of, sort of. Not really. Well, he's a practice partner, but he, I more so give him tips than anything else, and I just improve based on me coaching myself while I look back on vibes of fighting against him. But this time I'm facing someone named Mitsu Kiri, who is a Japanese player for Dragon Ball Fighters. I don't think she competes in Japan, but she does play against a lot of the Japanese top players. Um, she's also the sister of Tatsuniko, someone who plays Dragon Ball Fighters on the West Coast of the United States who's, in my opinion, I guess, and you can't really deny it, a very good Dragon Ball Fighters player in his own right. Probably one of the best Nappas in the world. So yeah, and these VODs, you're going to see me get absolutely destroyed by Mitsu. Um, mostly because I'm getting put in a lot of situations that I'm not familiar with. Mostly, uh, there's a there are a bit of situations that I respected too much, I think, that I had chances to punish. And then, there were situations where I just get hit because it's net play. Same thing for her. There are situations where I'm sure she would have blocked offline, but it's net play, so what can you do? You gotta hope for the best, hope that your inputs don't get eaten alive. But yeah, let's get into the actual games. So, already? I don't... I. That wasn't actually, so the thing about it is our, what we're playing on was a mixture of like, it went back and forth, it fluctuated between 4 and like 6 frame del rate delay. Now, some things that I like to do, I didn't do as crisply as I wanted to, and some things didn't, I didn't react the way I wanted to. But, yeah, there's just a lot of weird situations in this game for both of us, I think, because of the delay. And I definitely didn't capitalize on the pressure that I had in that situation. I don't necessarily know if it's 100% because of the delay, but, yeah, I definitely wanted to dash forward and keep her, keep 21 on blocks done. 21 is super annoying, by the way. I haven't played many good 21s. 21 is super annoying. But I wasn't able to do so. See, now in these situations, there are situations where I'm in block stun or where I'm eating staggers where I would normally want to poke out. But just looking at them, I can tell, yeah, there are gaps here where I can poke out, but I won't hit even if I try. Unless I try to do a medium, which will reach, but super slow, so I'll probably run into something. So then I'm getting put in situations where I'm just stuck in blocks down and I just get opened up by stuff where I just have no business getting opened up by. There, I tried to reflect a key blast and then tried to punish, but I just wasn't able to. I don't know if I reflected too late, too early, or what, but yeah. I vanished too late, didn't react.
Good job getting out of the corner. That was a very dangerous tag there, though. There, I tried to do rocket kick, but that somehow worked. That should have been a DP. Get Bardock back in. This, I think, this is like the first or second match. I think this is actually the second match, and I was flustered because I just couldn't... It's super hard to catch her. And here, I was thinking run up and DP, but I don't know what I was doing. Like, all of my inputs just got stuck. That should have been a kill. I just messed up. Like, I had so many choices I could have did. I read the situation perf uh, right. I knew it was going to be a spark there. I wasn't ready for that auto combo ender to hit at all. That was unfortunate. Yeah, in that situation at the end, I figured that that's probably a bad thinking, though. I figured that it was probably going to end, but I wanted to see if she would react in 2H if I tried to fall down with buttons. Some people just don't do anything in that situation. They either get hit by it or just block, which would give me advantage. So... Just want to see what happened. But yeah, in a lot of the situations, I just didn't know how to handle neutral or the small amount of times where I would win neutral, I just didn't capitalize on it hard enough at all. I should have caught an assist there, but I didn't think that that would have so much landing lag. That's supposed to be an IED medium. See, I wasn't really able to do a lot of the mix-ups and things that I wanted to do. Bring Cell back in. Let's see how I handle this situation. I should just block. I don't know why I tried to do Rolling Crush there. Actually, if I were to do anything, ooh. and I ran into that. That's not the first or last time that's happened. I don't think. I think the reason she. 
does that is because when a lot of people spark, they'll Dragon Rush. And her 2H is pretty. F Ooh. And her 2H is pretty fast. So. I just made a lot of bad mistakes and disadvantage. Like pressing buttons when I didn't need to. Here it was weird because at this point the connection spiked up to uh It was like 19 f uh frame delay here. That was a fast game. There wasn't even much to say about it. I feel like a lot of the, like a lot of my losing is pretty simple. I also feel like she didn't play nearly as well as she could have either. Like a lot of my problems from looking at it don't even seem like it. they're about me not knowing how to handle the situation, but me handling the situation a lot more poorly, poorly than I normally would. Uh, all right, let's look at my me actually win one next. See, this time was different. Was I was annoyed that I kept. Losing disadvantage, so I just jumped straight at it early on. Or I kept losing neutral, so I just jumped straight at it early on. That was super unnecessary. <laughs> See, I got hit by stuff like that so many times. I hate that move so much, actually. I didn't realize how annoying it was until this match. Hmm. It's super hard to do vibe reviews on this, actually, because I can't. This needs to have, like, rewind and stuff like that, but... 
uh, drop. I don't even know why I tried to do that combo. On like six frame delay. But yeah. And that one, like, it looked like, right, when I was able to get advantage. Although, I'm almost 100% certain, though, that if you take us both and you put us offline, she wouldn't get hit by half of that. But it's online, so a lot of it... If you act a little bit slower than you should, then you get hit by it. Especially when you have four to five frame delay. But I don't know. I think so like from what I gathered in the situations is that a lot of my problems, right? Me being finicky and disadvantage me not knowing how to deal with things that has nothing to do with the like yeah sometimes here and there i got hit by things that yeah it's online and i probably wouldn't have gotten hit by it offline but for the most part nah it didn't seem like that's why i was losing it seemed like i was losing because of less mechanical skill and neutral she was able to move around much better in neutral than i was so i just got destroyed and neutral for the most part except when I jumped at her and just decided to try to make her block instead of going back and playing neutral I just kind of in that situation I didn't even play neutral though I kind of took neutral out of the whole situation and just kept trying to apply pressure if that's how I need to play then I guess that's how I'm gonna to need to play but at some point against people you're gonna to have to play neutral now I am confident in my ability to come up with mix-ups and open people up and there are a lot of mix-ups that I didn't even throw out mostly because I wasn't even thinking because we we're both tired as heck we just came from playing Fortnite and other games but yeah, I don't know. Most of my problems seem to be from knowledge and just decision making. I just need to make better decisions. And it's not like, it's just when I play, I don't know. When I play people who I'm not comfortable playing with, at some point, I just don't make great decisions. But, yeah. Like, to be honest, Misu is super good. She's probably the smartest person I've ever played against. But she's not that necessarily the most oppressive person that I've played against. Maybe because she res uh, but I respect things more and it's not that I didn't respect certain things but I chose not to respect certain things that I figured she'd think I respect like there are times where she'd vanish that she was plus and she probably waited for a reflect or something or back dash where I just sat there and pressed buttons things like of that nature but there are so many different recovery options that I didn't use I didn't really use delay get up I didn't really down tech a lot like there were times where i would literally back tech over and over again and get grabbed that's what i do to other people i never really back tech if anything and if i get punished for teching is because i down tech and try to press buttons and get punished for that not i back tech and get grabbed if i down tech and get grabbed okay but i was kind of it was very disappointed with myself that i kept back checking over and over because that just meant that i was just autopilot times 100 wasn't really thinking about the game. Let's watch this last game though. I get absolutely destroyed this game ever. I'm like halfway not even in the screen. So yeah, let's look at this last game.
So I back up there. And I wasted. A, that was such a bad assist call. So I back up there. Because. I don't even think I needed to. I think. If I just kept pressure on. Then I would have been able to just. Block string. Until my assist comes back up. But I back up because my assist. I didn't have any assist to pressure with. So I didn't want to do anything. And then get punished. Because I don't have assist to cover. Uh, cool. I almost got a touch of death right there. Well, I mean, I don't know if she would have been able to hit it offline or online. That, I think. So, that's super. I think that's a thing that is even hard to block offline. But uh, online, I think that's super hard to block even so. Or even more so hard to block. Because I think it's called like a fuzzy reflect. So for Vegeta assist, everybody knows if you're uh, sorry, I'm I, I got preoccupied by something. But uh, what was I saying? Everybody. Who knows anything about the game knows that if you're reflecting Vegeta assist, you need to reflect twice. So if you're playing against someone who's going to reflect and then... Even if they press buttons, I'm pretty sure this will win. But if they're going to reflect and then respect, then you can fuzzy low them. And they just take it. Because I don't, I don't exactly know how it works. But I do know fuzzy ref uh, punishing reflects with the fuzzy low is a thing. I'm pretty sure. And I got hit by that a good amount of time. So I just couldn't block low fast enough. Because I was definitely blocking low here. But it just didn't come out. And then, these were situations where I was blocking low too soon. So, I would block low for one, I would block high for one hit. And then 21 would get another high hit, but I would block low for that high hit. So I'd just be getting hit by a high, blocking standing up. When I should block high for one more hit, but I don't know. Should have been a 2H. I just wasn't looking at the screen at this point. Like, I don't know what was going on. I just wasn't acting to anything. Should have been a 2H there, too. Like, for the most part, my defense was... Uh, the same thing happened there. 21 get uh, got two high hits, but I could only block. I only blocked one of them and I tried to block low too soon. Should have been a 2H or a DP. Should have been a 2H. What I tried to do there was I tried to 2H. Vegeta assist and then vanish. And that's the second time I told you I ran at it. I think the reason I threw out a low there. Oh, this is where I just keep getting. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so tilting to watch. But I think the reason why. Oh, also here. I'm annoyed because at this point I wasn't even looking at 21 anymore, which is stupid. Why not look at 21, a person who's. Oppressing you. I was looking at Vegeta for some reason. And I'm like, why am I looking at Vegeta when I have to react to what 21 is doing? I'm thinking this in my head while I'm looking at Vegeta. It's something, it's just, like, I'm going to be tired if I'm playing tournaments. I'm going to be tired and playing. But I have to have a certain amount of self control and thought to force myself 
to not be lazy and keep my eyes where they're supposed to be kept and keep my mind where it's supposed to be kept. But what was I saying before? I think the reason why I got hit by that 2H there, because I actually threw out a low. Either low didn't come out, or 21 jumped over the low, because she jumps when she 2Hs. So I just got 2H'd. And, yep, I got absolutely bodied these games but it was super fun to get bodied these games and i learned a good amount about my playstyle of what i need to improve on and what i need to improve on versus people who are really good at the game so yeah hopefully me too plays with me more in the future hopefully the connection isn't bad or she gives me some pointers i do think that i'm on the right track, but I'm not at the level where I want to be yet. Because I do plan on being able to do super, super ultra well in my, the first tournament that I go to. But yeah, hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully and come back for some more videos. This is Keen Delta 7 signing out. Peace.